Other than that, how has my worldview changed? Uh, it has expanded enormously. Uh, the, the only world that I knew as a child child was family. And apart from the fact that some of us were Methodists and some of us were Baptists, uh, <laughs> there wasn't much diversity there. Uh, there wasn't much to challenge uh, anything at all. But again, there was something that was there that led me in the right direction. We spent Sunday dinner every Sunday after church arguing theology at the dining table. And the argument usually amounted to my grandfather to explaining why the Methodists were wrong and my grandmother explaining, no, it's the Baptists that are wrong. But we were arguing about two conflicting particular styles. And of course, as I've grown, I've discovered that's just a microcosm. Uh, there are a hundred different styles, there are a thousand, there are different cultures, there are different languages, there are different traditions. And then, as we've been told, there are millions and millions and billions and billions of stars conceivably of solar systems, conceivably of other Earths, conceivably of other intelligent life. Uh, you got to make room for all of that. And so one of the big changes in my worldview has been a growing and growing and growing acceptance of diversity. That unless we can accept the variety of humans and the variety of ideas and the variety of ideals and values that they hold, uh, it's hopeless. We're never gonna get anywhere. So it's expanding, it's growing, uh, it's grown less traditionally religious, uh, but that's another story too.